guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to do my grove review um, but a little disclaimer I'm in my kitchen and my kitchen is where we keep the dogs cage and it is 11 o'clock at night so they are in bed but we do have a new puppy and he's being crate trained so if you hear the rustling of him in his cage or him whining that is why because you're trying to create him um, but without further ado let's get into the growth hall I purchased Grove, I think, in January for the first time, so I've had it for a little bit. Um, I did the math, and I have spent over $400 with Grove, so I think I have a pretty good idea of what I like and what I don't like now. Um, they did come out with some new stuff that I'm going to try, but I have it to show you. I just haven't tried it yet because I haven't gone through um, the stuff I bought previously to get to that. I don't like to open anything new until I've used what I've used already. But... Um, I'll just get right into it because I got a lot of stuff to show you. So I did get this cute little, um, I got this as a set. I don't think they came together, but it was like the hand towel that I, and I use it in my bathroom. Um, and then this little like wildflower hand soap thing and I thought it was really cute so I got that. Um, and I got this. Um, it came with this. I haven't used it yet. I did open a smell. I really don't really care for the smell, so I might give this away to somebody. Um, but it came with this, and it's just like a little pump. And I actually put a dog dish soap in here because the only complaint I have about um, some of, like, of the dish soap that Grove uses, it just doesn't cut through grease as much as I would like it to. And we use a lot of like 80-20 um, meat, um, and I use olive oil to cook with so when you get like the greasy meat or the grease from oils it doesn't really cut through it the, the way I would like it to so I just do a little squirt of Dawn if I know something's gonna be a little bit greasy when I wash the dishes um but that's only pretty much the only complaint I have so um so I know I talked about these in my last video and how I really like them but I couldn't be spending what they cost because I use them so fast and I thought the Want, like this scrubby side went away really fast and somebody suggested to cut them in half or in a third so I took it a step further actually and I cut them into six pieces so I cut them in half long ways and then cut them um, twice to make three pieces because I don't use them that much I usually use them if I have like a hard spot to clean on a dish or something but other than that, I don't really use them that often so I only need a like a little square but then I just put them in this little Dollar Tree container and it works really well this is I think this is um two packages of them in here and then I have this one for when I get low. Now the new thing that Grove came out with that I got was this refillable, they've always had the refillable um, spray bottles and I do use one on a regular basis but this one's empty because I just got it. But they came out with this and they came out with like these concentrates. I don't know if you can focus there. But this is the orange and rosemary. Um, I think they're both orange and rosemary, and I think the orange and rosemary was the one you got. But apparently, you just take this, you open this, and you squeeze it, and they fill with water, which is supposed to reduce plastic. And I'm all for that. Like that's a great idea. So I haven't tried them yet, but I will try them and I'll let you know. Um, but the concept behind it is a really good concept, I think. So um, I bought this the first time I got Grove, and. Uh, this is not the liquid that came in with it. I love the bottle so much, but I really didn't care for the actual stuff that you mop the floor with. I felt like it left like a little um, tacky residue. Like it felt tacky when I was walking my floors after a month, and I didn't really care for that. So what I did was I just used it all up, and then I saved the bottle because I thought the bottle concept was a great concept, and I just made my own solution and filled it, and it works just the same, but now it's my own solution. And I obviously like my own solution when I like their solution. Um, I still use the degreaser. I bought this and I haven't used that much of it because I only use it to clean my oven and my microwave. But it works really well, smells really well, and I think it degreases things wonderfully. I just start buying these seventh generation wipes and I have um, speckles on them. But all I do is keep them on the back of our toilet for every night before I go to bed. I just make sure I wipe down the toilet and wipe down the sink and the floor around the toilet really well because I do have a four year old and he tends to miss, but let's be honest, so does my nine year old. So um, smells really irritate me. Like I have like this great ability to like find smells that stink. 
and if they miss even a little bit, I can smell it, and it drives me crazy. So I guess it's not a great ability. It's kind of a curse. But um, So I just wipe down everything right before I go to bed every day, and then I deep clean once a week, but that's what I do. So these two go hand in hand for me. This is the cream cleanser, and this is just like um, a powder cleanser. I use these to clean my stovetop and my um, stainless steel sink. So they work really well. Um, I wouldn't say one works better than the other. I would say this one smells better than this one, but they work about the same. Um, this, as you can use it on the bath too, so I might try it on some of our fall, like the drain or whatever, because it's looking a little ugly. I bought two, actually this is, I bought three of these, so I have two unopened ones, and I'm using one now. But this is the bubble up thing. I'm going to put one, um, upstairs probably so that uh, the kids can start cleaning out their sink really well when they brush their teeth because it seems to get soap and everything and I feel like if I put this up there they might be more enticed to like because it's a bubble up and it's fun and bouncy but I have one now too and I um, bought a backup one because they ran a sale and it was the same price to get a complete set than it was to get just the brush which I need a new brush so I just got a complete set and Mike said that he can use a bub um, the bounce thing and put some wood varnish in there and stain his wood projects with it so we're always you repurposing things. Always repurpose things. So, um, I got two of these. I'm going to use one for um, laundry. So, the laundry soap works really well, or the bottle works really well, and I like the concept of the bottle. I don't know about the laundry soap. I know it doesn't use very much, but it's just like highly concentrated. Um, I washed a few loads with it, and I haven't really noticed a difference between regular store-bought and this store-bought. Um, I was reading the ingredients and stuff on it, so I don't think it's really disinfects like I would like to. So when I do wash it in my towels or a bedding, I do use um, the Lysol like disinfectant or regular dirt laundry detergent. But the concept of this is great because I have a 10-year-old um, daughter and I'm trying to teach her how to do like household things so she can be independent when she gets older and doesn't call me over when she's 26 to do her laundry. So I like it that it pre-measures everything and she knows like she should just dump it in there and wait for it to stop running and then she has enough in there. So that that is a benefit to me. So I'll keep using it and the bottle is really cute. Um, I wonder, I don't know if you guys know, but can you put regular laundry detergent in here? Because um, if so, I'd like to buy my own laundry detergent because I don't get the smell benefits from this laundry detergent as to do my other ones because it doesn't leave like a freshing smell. So let me know if you can use regular laundry detergent there. I looked on their website and it didn't say you could or couldn't, but I don't want to ruin it if I can't. So this is another one of Grove's um, new things, I guess. It's a reusable room sprays and their room sprays are probably some of my favorites. They only have the lemon, lemongrass and Verbena right now, but what it is is you're supposed to take this and pour the whole thing in there and then fill the rest up with water. Which um, I did reuse before they came out with this. I did reuse one of the plastic bottles and I just put some essential oils and it seemed to work just the same. So you could probably just buy the bottle and do that. But uh, when I run out of room space, I'll use this. But I love the concept of reuse, like of a reusable bottle, so I'm not wasting so much plastic. Um, really like earth conscious and these little hard things that um, like all the reusable glass bottles and hand soap pumps come in my husband actually takes them and puts them into his shop and he uses them for things like that so reuse recycle right I did end up buying a huge refillable thing of this daily shower spray I love it I clean my windows with it and I clean my shower with it and our mirrors it's like my favorite, probably one of my favorite things I've gotten for a room, and it smells really good. Um, I have a couple backups of this Method Antibacterial Toilet Cleaner. It's really good. Um, it's nice and thick, so it's not as runny as some other store-bought like, uh, cleaners have been, so I really enjoy that. Um, and it cleans my toilets, so I might as well just throw it in there and not have to like forget to buy it at Walmart for the hundredth time, right? Uh, I got this hand cream for free on my orders. It's a little greasy. I put it in my sink and then I usually use it after I do my dishes just to keep my hands not so dry. Um, I got some backups of this antibacterial um, 
bathroom spray. I have been looking at the foaming one for a while, but it doesn't say if it's antibacterial. And um, that's just, I don't know if it's the logical way of thinking, but just antibacterial is really important for me in the bathroom. I want to like disinfect the crap out of it because we crap in it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's just like something that's like kind of important to me. Um, so I don't know if the foaming one is or not. I might try it just to try it, but I'm afraid that I'll get it, I'll use it because I like it, and then I'll just go over it with it with something antibacterial because I'll be like dreaming about germs. So that just might be my head though. The dish soap, so we'll go on with some scents I guess. So I only have um, two dish soaps right now. I just got done using um, the ones for um, winter actually. So I bought all of winter scents and out of the three, the pine, the orange, and the peppermint. Peppermint was probably my favorite and then I really like the orange. Um, and I bought all three of the, summer, of the spring scents which was mint, peony, and lilac. I ended up giving all of the lilac away to my mom because I just could not stand the smell. It was so flowery and perfumey that it just, it wasn't for me. Um, but she loves lilac and she loved it. So she's, she likes it. So if you like the smell of lilac, you'll love it. Apparently I did not like the smell of lilac. Um, I got the peony one and it was still perfumey and flowery, but not as much as the lilac. So I ended up using all that, but I don't know if you can tell which one my favorite is, but, and I'm currently using that scent in the dish soap, ah, I don't know if I can do it, mint, ooh, I love the mint, it smells so good, and I have been trying to figure out what they made it with, I think on the label it says, um, spearmint, and grapefruit and I'm going to try to um, mimic the scent with my own essential oils to see if I can get that scent like to come through I guess to like mock like mimic the scent and other things in my life because I love it um, I've already I have two backups now I've already went through one room spray I went through one dish soap already I and I went through two yeah, I've already went through two of the room of the disinfectant spray or the counter spray. I love that smell. I didn't like. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I'm not a big mint person. But it's not like a when you think of like mint. I think of like mint chocolate chip or like peppermint or something like that. It's not that. It's like a sweet fruit mint. It's just so. It smells so good. I love it. So if you try any scent from the spring, mint. Try the mint. It is. Oh, it smells so good. So. Those are the only hand soaps I have, is the two mint hand soaps right now. Um, we don't go through hand soap a lot, and if we do, it's in the bathroom. And in the bathroom, I use uh, this little refillable thing, and I still have like a huge thing of refillable hand soap. So um, I have one mint, or two, because I'm using one currently, and then this is my backup one, of the um, dish soap. And then I have the radish one, so I'm going to smell it, because I forget what it smells like. Yeah, it just smells clean. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, of the smell of Dawn. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the smell of Dawn. It just smells, it smells clean. It's refreshing and it'll like smell clean. So if you're not looking for like a perfumey, like really fruity or flowery scent, that's a really good radish. I would say radish is a good one to go with. Um, I have radish in the the room spray so recently when I've been buying like a set of Mrs. Myers I'm trying to try all of the scents I haven't been buying the dish soap because we do have a dishwasher so I'm just not going through dish soap as fast as I am the room sprays um, and the all-purpose sprays so I might buy like a dish soap and then a hands and like for one and then a hand soap for the other or I might buy just the room spray and the multi-purpose spray so I it's just been like varying. I'm just not going through um, hand soap nearly as fast and definitely not um, dish soap either because I don't really hand wash a lot of the dishes. I do for like lunch or breakfast, but for dinner I use the dishwasher. So this is the Bluebell. And I don't remember what this one smells like either. Sorry. Hmm. 
God, that reminds me of my... Not to say that this smells like old lady, but it reminds me of my grandma. But she... It like... What is it? What is that? It's such a familiar smell. I just can't pinpoint it. But it's it's a little floral. I would say that it's a little it smells a little bit like flowers, but not overpowering like the lilac was. Um, it just it smells like clean flowers, if that makes any sense at all. It just smells like clean flowers. So these are the room sprays. These are my favorite things. I love these room sprays. They last so long. I spray all my flo my throw blankets with it. I spray my furniture with it, my floors with it, my pillows with it. I have a lavender one in my bedroom that you don't see right now that I just remembered about. But so lavender smells like lavender, obviously. Um, mint, I already explained that because it's my favorite, and I will probably buy more of that before um, it goes away. Which do they have? I know they have a fall line when fall comes, like pumpkin and apple cider, I think. But do they have a summer line? Um, I haven't been with them for a full year, so if you know, let me know what they are because I'm kind of looking. I love this like seasonal scent thing. I like the idea of it. So um, the lemon one is almost out, and it just smells like lemon. It's really, really refreshing. And um, this is the oh goodness, gr Granium, granium. Hmm, that's different. I am okay. I'm I'm not good at describing scents. Um, if it doesn't remind me of something, then I can't tell you what it really smells like. It is. This says has a colorful bloom that lifts your spirits on sunny days. It's. Bright floral scent is set to uplift and soothe. I wouldn't say that's really floral, though. Like, not as floral as some of them. Kind of reminds me of roses a little bit. But I wouldn't say it's, like, floral. I don't know. Hmm, doesn't remind me of floral. This is the honeysuckle one. Um, I think this one's Mike's favorite. No, he likes lemon one. Hmm. This is really, like... Everything says it's floral, but that doesn't remind me of floral. That was really nice. That's a really nice smell. That's like a, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just not floral. It's a kind of sweet smelling, but a little citrusy, I would say. So, yeah. Um, and then the last thing that I have right now in front of me is my, like, cleaning caddy. This is what I keep on the counter. Um, it just has the dish soap I'm currently using, which is mint. The multi-purpose I am using is which is mint, and then this reusable bottle in the color mint. But it has um, like ha uh, like a little bit of Lysol, not Lysol, yeah, a little bit of Lysol, and then rest is water for um, disinfectant for like when somebody gets sick, or if the dogs have the puppy has an accident in the house because he is a puppy. And then these new Walmart ooh, Walmart Walnut like. Scrubbers I use to clean our smoothie cups, but it is re usable. I thought that was really cool. So another way to save some plastic, and it works just as good as the um, walnut scrubber sponges, and I really like it. So the reason I like the walnut scrubber sponges is because they they scrub really well. Like um, they're not abrasive though. So I know I've tried. I sacrificed my copper pan. Um, to see if I could get it clean um, with that and see if it scratched. And it didn't scratch it at all, but I got everything clean. So I really like that about those. Um, they're So they're abrasive enough to get the food off, but not abrasive enough to scratch up hands, which is a win-win for me. The only thing I'm like, it's like odd about, I don't know if this is normal, but when I open a new package of them, they almost feel wet. Like, I don't know if that's like a cleaning solution they put in there. Or top rack dishwasher safe. I didn't even notice they were dishwasher safe, so you can rewash them. But once the scrubby side is gone, I'm like tossing it out. So, so that is four hundred dollars worth of Grove Collaborative. Um, some things I have like thrown away, like bottles I have emptied. Um, so I went through like six room sprays. Probably I go through about two a month because I'm constantly cleaning. Um, I go through probably like one, 
dish soap maybe every two months because like I said I don't wash dishes by hand very often um, I usually mainly use my dishwasher which I'm gonna try some dishwasher liquid from there I just have a um, bulk I bought from Walmart and I don't want to purchase any right now until my bulk is um, down to at least half um, and then I got some room sprays that I've went through already and thrown away um, but other than that I've really liked Grove so I'm going to continue to order from them. The scents are amazing. The fact that they're coming out with reusable stuff that you can um, refill and has less plastic in it is a huge plus to me. So that means they're being environmentally um, conscious. And I love it's a huge plus to me. So, and it means I have more room in my cupboards for more cleaning stuff. Um, don't tell my husband that I spent $400 on Grove because he doesn't know how much I've spent on it, but he golfs, so it's, it's, it's a trade-off. Um, but other than that, yeah, do you have, if you guys have any suggestions on things that you think, um, I'm missing here that you were like, girl, die hard, love this product from Grove, why haven't you tried it? Please let me know because I'm always looking for new stuff. Um, the website just is full of so much stuff that like, I kind of get lost and I kind of like get um, tunnel vision into the things I know I like already. So if you have stuff like that, go ahead and give me a comment on what I need to try. Um, and if you have questions about anything, I'll be happy to answer them. Or if you're like, ooh, I hate that. Why do you like it? I guess you can let me that know that too, but to each its own, right? So... Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day or night. Um, sorry if my little puppy bugged you too much. He's not that little anymore, though. But sorry if my little puppy bugged you too much. And thanks for being here. Bye.